Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Index Engineering. Today's episode, we're going to be working on the Camaro. We're going to take the uh, master brake cylinder off and we're going to try and replace it with a brand new one. Hope you enjoy! So to get started, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drain all the brake fluid from the master cylinder. That way we don't make a mess uh, if we break something. Get it? Break something? Then we're going to go through and we're going to take off the fittings on the side of the master cylinder and uh, get the lines loosened up from the line lock. That way we can uh, remove the master brake cylinder. Now that we have the lines loosened up from the master cylinder, we can start removing them from the portioning valve, and then we can pull out the master cylinder. Now is the hardest part of the whole thing. You don't see this when you watch other videos, but there is a crap ton of wires underneath these dashes. And you have to try and snake your hands up underneath the dash through the wires to try and get to that little tiny bolt to try and loosen up. And there's four of them. And it takes forever. After about 10 minutes of fiddling with the wires, I decided I was going to go through and clean up some of the wires first. So I go through and clean up the wires I can pull through here, and then I pull them through from the floorboard. Get those out the way, get those out the way. Now that I have some room to work, I'm able to take and work on those last two nuts on the one side. As I was working on that last nut on the one side, I realized that I'm not going to be able to get to the other side without lowering the steering column. Which, to lower the steering column, there's about four wire plugs attached to it. Seeing as how I already removed the steering wheel, it gives me a little bit better access, so I decided to go through and start pulling the wire harness off of the steering column. Now that I have the steering column lowered and the wire harness off of it, it gives me access to the last two bolts on the back side. Now that I have those last two bolts out, I can come out here and remove the brake booster. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is part one of two. The next episode we're going to go through and take the new master cylinder and get that all mocked up and put on in place of where the brake booster used to be. Have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.